Hi everybody, my name is Raquel Matthews. I'm a school psychologist as well as a director at Psychologists for the Growing Mind Limited here in Trinidad. I'm going to be discussing COVID comfort for students, thanks to the lovely ladies that struck Miss International Esperance for noticing that this is an issue and it needs to be openly discussed. Our students in Trinidad and Tobago have been home, they've been online or they've been doing packages, etc. since March 2020. So I have no doubt that it's a tough time for many. I talked to so many of you all. So my first question is, I just want to know how are you students doing? If you're in school and you're still like showing up every day and getting that work done and being determined, that's a good feeling. If you're taking the time to play still and having fun, that's being playful. So yeah, maybe you're not happy 24 seven, but you're still having good emotions. If you're feeling creative, you you know, a lot of you all have to come up with different ways to study, to stay focused, coming up with some creative ways. I have <laughs> I have heard some very interesting ways our students are getting through their days. And I have to say you're being very creative and I'm extremely proud of you all. I don't know if I could come up with some of these things. So again, yeah, it doesn't always mean happiness, doesn't always mean good in the sense that you all are doing other things that are really good emotions, just we're not focusing on them. So let's start focusing on your other good emotions that you're showing. Your struggle is your struggle, your emotions are your emotions, and that's really important. So don't ever feel guilty for how you feel because what you're feeling is important to you. So make sure you notice what you're feeling. Get those emotion wheels out because it actually will show you so much about yourself that you may not even be realizing that you're getting done or it can also help guide you in how to get your strategies, do different things to make you feel better or put things in place. Another major thing that I want to talk about is just make sure you're taking time to come off the screens, which is ironic because I'm talking to you a lot through a screen and really just play. So for my younger students, that's like playing. My older students, that's maybe reading something that you enjoy or doing something that you really enjoy. Right now, it has to be something in the house, but at least getting some downtime away from the studies, away from the stress and going into your own little world, whatever that may be. It's really, 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 really important. The next thing that I really want to say is there are psychologists out there that are still working. In that sense, I mean, we are having virtual appointments. So I am working with students online talking even through whatsapp sometimes it's just some messages that they're shooting to me to see how they're feeling and we talk through it so don't feel bad don't feel like it's a sign of weakness if you need to reach out for some help everybody needs support sometimes everybody needs a therapist there's no shame in that game so just know this is your own journey there's nobody to judge we're just all here to understand and support so find a support system it might be your friends it might be your parents, it could be a sibling, it could be a grandparent, it could be a distant relative, whatever you need, but just make sure that you're reaching out when you need it. Take those nice deep breaths sometimes. If you need to think a little clearer, take a step back and get rest. Sleep is so important right now, just to battle. The days that you're having sitting in front of screens, studying, doing work, it's really important that you are getting good sleep because if you don't get good sleep, you can actually get a lot more of those bad emotions coming through because your body's not rested. And also pay attention to your diet. Those processed foods and those snacks also will give you high energy levels and then you get sluggish and slow. And that also makes you feel like, why am I so unfocused? I'm not, not feeling myself. And it's probably not even your fault. It's just the food that you're taking in. So take proper care of yourself. So that means notice your emotions, Get plenty rest. Make sure you're taking care of what you put in your body as best as you can. I know sometimes there are not much choices, but as best as you can, put good healthy stuff in your system and make sure to get up and move. Move, 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 move. Listen to your music to relax. All of you all listen to your music. Identify small, attainable, achievable goals. That's gonna make you feel more in control and that's gonna really help build your back up. I'm very proud of all of you. This is not easy. I don't know how to describe 
my pride for so many of these students there. I don't think there's enough words for these students of Trinidad and Tobago for what you all are doing every day. So from a psychologist, I'm very proud of you and really, really, really take care of yourselves. Take care everyone. Stay safe. Bye bye.